Hello and welcome to my backyard. So I just finished recording a quick video on my electric skateboard, kind of an update. Uh, sorry, my backyard's always a mess because I have five kids that I'm raising and kids are messy, yo. <laughs> I'm getting them to clean up. Uh, but i just doing a quick vlog. Um, over here is my tortoise pen. She has been super active. You can see that pile of dirt. She has been digging like crazy. I put my uh, boroscope down there and I think her hole comes all the way to about here or so. Like there's all this dirt and it comes all the way out to here. I My boroscope isn't actually long enough to catch all that. And other than just plucking weeds every now and then, we just let this all grow wild and then we cut it way back in the fall when after she goes to sleep. Uh, I have my new grill that I had to upgrade because my last one just wasn't big enough. I got a kid's trampoline. And over here is hopefully, or not hopefully, it will be the new site for AIC production. So going back to the whole kids thing, let me adjust this just a little bit. So my wife and I have mentioned this kind of in other videos, just in passing, but we recently took in our niece. I'm not going to go into details, uh, it's private, but uh, her situation wasn't good and she needed a better place to live and we offered our home and um, she accepted. Uh, her family didn't so much, so that's been a whole legal thing, but she's been with us for about three months now, uh, this year. She's stayed with us in the past, uh, but that means we now have five kids in our home and we have a, a decent size, Not it's not massive, it's, it's reasonable for what we had. Uh, but the office I've been using as my office, or the room I've been using my office, um, it needs to become probably a bedroom. Uh, right now we have four kids in one room because we have a playroom and an office. Anyways, so we, uh, we need to break that up a little bit. We're not quite sure how that's going to happen, but we know that that room's going to be repurposed. So I've been doing a ton of research, and if you've looked into building supplies at all. They have gone insane. So I'm doing this at the worst possible moment. It is going to cost me significantly more than it should have um, even just a year ago. And of course a year ago I couldn't have gotten it done because everybody was shut down regardless. Uh, so what this is, is I have bought a 10 by 12 shed. It's eight feet tall. I'm all permitted for it. It's gonna have electricity coming out to it. Um, got permits done through the city, so we're good there. And uh, it's gonna go here. It's a temporary building, um, so it's gonna sit here. Um, these bricks are mostly just for me to kinda, I needed a flat thing to get level, so um, this weekend that's one of the things I'm gonna be doing is coming out and leveling this area. Uh, and then they're gonna put, build it here. I was looking at a few different ones, and in the couple of weeks I was actually looking at them their price has actually increased. One of the sheds I was actually really interested in uh, doubled in price in two weeks. Uh, it jumped up like 30% and it jumped up another 50% and then it was like double. I'm like, really? Uh, so um, when I was first looking, I originally looked at like Amazon, I looked at Home Depot and Lowe's and Walmart and just, you know, just some of these big box stores that maybe you can get a pretty good deal out of. And they didn't have anything I really liked I went searching other sources, found some things I really liked, but then the prices just got too expensive. I went back to Home Depot's website and they sell Tough Sheds. And Tough Sheds sells through other vendors as well. So it's not like I could have only gone through Home Depot. Uh, they just happened to have one that will, the, the price on it hadn't, it's actually gone up since I paid for it uh, by like 500 bucks. So glad I bought it when I did, but it's a Tough Shed. It's, tw uh, like I said, it's 10 by 12. So it's going to give me a little less than 120 square feet of room. We're going to set it up. I'm going to insulate it. Like I said, already permitted for power to it. Um, so get some nice, hopefully get some nice, uh, like LED lights in there. Um, going to get some soundproofing, insulation, air conditioning, a couple windows. Um, it'll become kind of my home office as well as a studio. Uh, part of the problem I have with making videos, and one of the reasons why I don't come out with content as frequently as I would like to, is this is really, really hard for me to time find 
or to find time. Uh, if I'm outside, I have to deal with the neighbors and with uh, airplanes and kids often. When I'm inside, uh, I have to deal with kids and a wife and TV and um, video games and all that other stuff. And so oftentimes I have to wait till it's late at night, kids are in bed. And I can't tell you how many times I try to start a video just to kill it because I'm just too tired. Oh my, the content's trash. Sometimes I push through it and I still put out the video that I'm not super happy with, but it's, it's just what I was able to produce when I could produce it um, in my time frame. So I'm hoping having a dedicated space with some soundproofing will give me more time to create content, have kind of ongoing projects. I have some cool projects I hope you guys will like here coming up soon. And give me a chance to kind of have that. My, my office, it gets used for a lot of different stuff other than my office as well. And so um, I'm always having to pick up, clean up when I'm halfway through something. And then it just goes into a Ziploc or into a plastic tub, it puts on the shelf and I forget about it. And I'm hoping that this will allow me to not have to do that. So it's going to go here. It's going to be kind of an off color. Probably going to have to paint it. It's going to come painted, but I'm going to probably paint it a different color. We'll see how that turns out. Uh, it was going to face this way, opening out this way. And yeah, it should, should be really nice. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Um, well, one nice thing about the tough shed is it, what you're paying for when you buy it is they will actually come out and install it for you. And I know that's probably not a big deal for some people, but we're in the middle of summer. So today's a nice day. So I think the high today was like 97, but the last two weeks, 118, 120, 115, 112. It has just been incredibly hot. And me being the person I am, I've never dealt well with the heat. I've lived in Arizona my whole life and I don't deal well with the heat. I don't live here for the summers. I live here for the winter. So I was either going to have to delay the project till it's cooler or just do a little bit at a time. Um, if I was building myself, whether I bought a kit or I just bought the raw materials and built it myself, the cost of raw materials, I won't tell you how much these things cost me. It's too much. The answer is too much. Uh, but the cost of raw materials really wasn't that big of a discount over having them build it for me. I was actually very surprised. And that's not even taking into account if I have to redo or remake anything. And knowing me, I'm going to have to redo at least some of it. And it's going to be professionally built and installed. Um, the other nice thing about it being a tough shed and kind of already as a, as a pre-built thing, tough shed had as kind of a, they, they're built here in Arizona. So um, at least the one that I'm going to be installing is built here. So the materials, I don't know where they're coming from, but it's, you know, a guy, a factory here in the Valley that ha somebody has a job, which I appreciate. Somebody's going to build it. And then the person who's going to install it again is a local person. So I'm employing several people here in the Valley, making sure that jobs are here and people have the jobs here, um, which I appreciate that part of it. Uh, but they also have things with the city. So they know what the cities are looking for as far as permitting and things like that. So I actually got paperwork from them that I was able to submit to the city that had all the like the dimensions and the spacing of the, um, two, uh, the two by fours and everything in it. And so it was a very simple process to go through and get that permitting done. Um, so I appreciate that as well. And then, sorry, the mosquitoes have come out, so I'm <laughs> being buzzed. Uh, but yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get it built and I'll show you the process. Uh, it'll come and be coming in about two weeks um, from today. So it's coming after July 4th. So, uh, and it's the second to last week of uh, May today. So, or uh, June, excuse me, it's June, jeez. Time keeps going faster and faster, I swear. So yeah, that's, that's what I got going on right now. Um, it's just been crazy with work. My work's um, changing things up again on me. My job at work has changed like four times since January, as far as what my responsibilities and stuff are. And it's great. It, it's not because I'm not doing good things. It's because they just keep having me take on new projects that they really need um, some, some strong focus on. And it's been really good. And one of the projects I'm going to be doing for my channel is going to line up with that. It's going to be on my own private hardware, on my own private software, things like that. So it won't be anything directly related to work. So there won't be work passwords or, <laughs> or accounts or logins, but it'll be personal. Um, but it's for me because I have a, a big thing that's going to be happening here in the next uh, six months or so and I kind of want to be ready for that. Um, so I'm just going to do it on my own time because it's fun as well for me. So 
hopefully that you enjoy that part. Uh, it'll be a, definitely a learning process for me. Uh, so yeah, looking forward to it. Uh, again, if you have any thoughts, comments, questions, leave those down below. Again, this is a vlog. I don't do these very often. Uh, really ad lib, you know, just throwing this out here. So um, yeah, if you have, if I've done something that you want to see more of, if you want to see less of something, let me know. If you, if I've kind of half done a project, you want to see the the rest of it. I know my Jeep's been sitting there for those anybody who's been following that at all. Um, I haven't done anything with it for a while. I just I just haven't had time between taking in a new kid, the changes at work, just everything. It's just, it's hit the back burner and it's on ice. Um, gonna be getting a new car soon. Um, it's gonna be gifted to me. Uh, my parents are uh, changing up their situation and so they, are, they have an older vehicle that they're gonna uh, let me have. My truck's for sale. Uh, if you know anybody who wants a Mazda B4000 and you see this video, it's for sale right now. Uh, but yeah, just a lot of changes, just new stuff all the time. So anyways, thank you for watching and we have an amazing day.